say the shocking insensitivity of the police investigating the rape of a 14-year-old girl in Badayu in Uttar Pradesh. A top cop today named the rape survivor and her family. This comes as five teams of the UP police have been constituted to hunt for the accused. Two police constables, a special task force, has been uh, in fact set up uh, for the investigation. The 14-year-old girl was raped at the police headquarters uh, uh, next uh, to the police uh, quarters next to the police station. A medical examination of the girl has confirmed rape. A minor girl's family in Pralatpur village has alleged that their 14-year-old daughter was gang raped by two constables by of the nearby Mosajat police station. And my colleague uh, Soni, Sonal now joining us uh, for more uh, oh, on that. Uh, Sonal, uh, we've just heard uh, this, this, this sound bite of uh, this uh, police uh, cop who's actually uh, named the victim and her family. That's right, Bani. Really unfortunate, especially coming from such a senior cop. Remember, after the Director General of Police, the next in rank is the ADG, and he is the head of ADG crime of all over UP. He was here in Badayu uh, just last night and talking to journalists, and very casually he mentioned the name of uh, the girl's parents, both her parents and the address as well. So having done that, despite the clear Supreme Court guidelines on this is quite a shocker. Uh, what they have also done, uh, you know, post that is the fact that, uh, you know, uh, they've also suspended other people who, who, according to the UP police head, are responsible, not just in, in maybe in committing the crime, but overseeing it perhaps. And that is one of the areas that they're looking at as well. But apart from that, what's been going on here in Badayu from the, from the 31st of December, really, uh, from the, the night... The, the incident took place is the fact that, as you mentioned, there have been several teams formed to go and look out for the accused in this case. Apart from that, the medical examination of the girl has also been done and her age has been ascertained so that finally on Monday she can go to the court and give out a statement before a magistrate. But in the meantime, what is crucial is the fact that uh, we, while we were uh, at the police station and trying to talk to our sources there, they, we came across a relative of one of the accused in the case who was very actively still part of the investigation. And we had been hearing that, uh, you know, he, he was in fact involved in cleaning up uh, the scene of crime before the senior officials got there. He also posed that, has been suspended to police lines. He's been sent back and will not be part of the investigation anymore. With all these incidents, it really looks like, Bani, it is going to be quite a task for UP police to take on on its own men. And currently, with the precedent being set by no less than the ADG, ADG himself, who's gone out to relieve, uh, you know, reveal the identity of the victim, it looks like quite a sad story. Indeed it is, and even more unfortunate that that top cop really has named uh, the victim and her uh, family. Very, very insensitive comment uh, there, uh, uh, Sonal. Thanks very much for joining us with those details.